classical theories of intelligence theory of gilford this is my topic introduction man's superiority over other species is generally generally explained in terms of intelligence it is true that he has unfolded many mysteries of nature but what helped him to discover these mysteries remains the biggest mystery that is human intelligence the conceptualization of intelligence itself remains vague even at the dawn of 21st century when we are really heading for artificial intelligence man's superiority of other species is generally explained in manushyarude uh, superiority mattu species ne abheshichu aduvaatte difference cheyathu avante intelligence aanu man is a uh, rational being it is true that he has unfolded many mysteries of nature but what helped him to discover these mysteries remains the biggest mystery that is human intelligence human intelligence aanu manushane mattulla manushil ninnu vyathisanaakunu the conceptualization of intelligence itself remains weak even even at the dawn of 21st 21st century ilum engane intelligence ennu parayna concept form cheyapettu nalladhu oru vague idea aayittu nilkkiyan the concept of intelligence definition binet defines intelligence as the ability of an individual to direct his behavior towards a goal according to binet binet defines intelligence ne define cheynathu ability of an individual to direct his behavior towards a goal oru manushyante ability oru behavior oru goal ne direct binet according to binet defines intelligence as the ability of an individual to direct his behavior towards a goal manushyar swabhavathil oru ലക്ഷ്യത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഓട്ടമാണ് ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബിനറ്റ് ബിനറ്റിന് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു പിയാഷ പിയാഷ പറയുന്നത് ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് ഈസ് ദ എബിലിറ്റി ടു അഡാപ്റ്റ് ടു വൺസ് ഓൺ സറൗണ്ടിങ്സ് പിയാഷ പറയുന്നത് ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു മനുഷ്യന് മറ്റുള്ളവരുടെ ഒരു ഓരോരുത്തരുടെ സിറ്റുവേഷനോട് സറൗണ്ടിങ്സിനോട് എങ്ങനെ ചേർന്ന് നിൽക്കാൻ പോകുന്നതനുസരിച്ചാണ് ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് എന്നാണ് പിയാഷ പറയുന്നത് nature of intelligence the following are the important features of intelligence following are the about the nature of intelligence ingane irikkunnu intelligence is the ability to learn intelligence is the it is the ability to solve problems it is the ability to deal with abstractions it is the ability to see relevant relationship with object or ideas it is the ability to apply acquired knowledge to new situations intelligence is excellence of performance as manifested in efficient work it is the analytic and synthetic ability of a mind nature of intelligence it is the ability to learn ability to karyangal padikkan vendittulla ability aanu it is the ability to solve problems problems solve cheyanulla ability aanu it is the ability to deal with abstractions abstract ideas ne engane deal cheyan vendittullana it is the ability to see relevant relationship with object or ideas are relevant it is the ability to uh, see relevant relationship with object or ideas it is the ability to apply acquired knowledge to new situations intelligence oru new situations il acquired knowledge already acquired actual knowledge engane apply cheyanulla intelligence is excellence of performance as manifested in efficient work excellence of performance and intelligence is what it is the analytic and synthetic ability of mind uh, analytic and synthetic ability of manush manasinte analytic and synthetic ability and visagalamayittulladum samvikhinjadumayittulla ability ennu parayam types of intelligence thorndike has classified intelligence into three categories തോണ്ടയ്ക്ക് ഇൻ്റലിജൻസിനെ മൂന്ന് കാറ്റഗറീസ് ആയിട്ട് തിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ കോൺക്രീറ്റ് ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ എബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് എൻ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ ടു കോംപ്രിഹെൻഡ് ആക്ച്വ
and react to them adequately. Concrete intelligence is the ability of an individual to comprehend actual situations and react to them adequately. Actual situations in order to comprehend the situation. Concrete intelligence. In order. Abstract intelligence. It is the ability to respond to abstract symbols like numbers, letters. Abstract intelligence. In order. Abstract character. Um, ability to respond to abstract symbols. Symbols in order like numbers, letters. Next, social intelligence. It is the ability of an individual to react to social situations of daily life. It is the social intelligence is the ability of an individual to react to social situations of daily life. <coughs> Theories of intelligence. Monarchic theory. This one is called unitary theory, two-factor theory of Spearman, Guilford theory of structure of intellectual intellect, multi-factor theory, anarchic theory. That is one is called primary mental abilities, Thurston theories, multiple intelligence theory. There are six different theories of intelligence. From them, my topic is Guilford theory of structure of intellect. Guilford theory of structure of intellect, it is otherwise called SI model. J.P. Guilford explained the structure of intelligence by proposing a three-dimensional model by using the statistical technique of factor analysis. According to this model, every intellectual activity can be described in terms of three different basic parameters, operators, operations, contents and products. Operations refer to the act of thinking, contents refer to the terms in which we think and products refers to the ideas we come with, we come with. Guilford explained the structure of intelligence by, by proposing a three-dimensional model by using statistical technique of factor analysis. Guilford proposed a three-dimensional model a structure of intellectual. According to this model, every intellectual, intellectual activity can be described in terms of According to Guilford, every intellectual activity can be described in terms of three different pa basic parameters. Basic parameters are another. Intellectual activity is the basic parameters are another. Moon and one. The other can be mentioned. Operations, contents, and products. Operations is one. Operations refers to the act of thinking. Engine operations are the number of engine and chindikin and answer. Operations are the number. Contents refers to the terms in which we think. Contents are the terms in which we think and products refers to the ideas we come up with. Guilford identified five operations, five contents and six products. There are five operations, five contents and six products. What are the different operations? Evaluation, convergent thinking, divergent thinking, memory and cognition. Evaluation, convergent thinking, divergent thinking, and memory and cognitions are the operations. Next, what are the contents? Visual, auditory, symbolic, and semantic are the contents. Uh, visual, auditory, symbolic, and semantic, and behavioral are the contents. Products, units, classes, relations systems, transformations and implications, they are the products. Guilford's structure of intellect can be explained by this diagram. According to this model, a maximum number of factors in terms of the different computations of these three parameters will be 5 into 5 into 6 that is 150. Each one of these factors has a trigram symbol. One symbol each from operation, content and product. Guilford's model of the structure of intellect with its three parameters and 150 specific factors may be diagrammatically explained represented as in the figure. 
according to this model a maximum number of factors in terms of different combinations of these three parameters the co the, the co all combinations of these three parameters is is equal to 150 that is 5 into 5 into 5 5 into 6 5 into 5 into 6 each one of these factors has a trigram symbol one symbol each from operation each factors of this contains a symbol and one from operation one from content and one from product Guilford's model of the structure of intellect with its three parameters and 150 specific factors may be diagrammatically explained in this in the figure in view of this the view practically admitted the impossibility of defining intelligence precisely this view however did not gain much acceptance thus classical views represented above as may be seen were mostly based on opinions conjectures, and basis of thoughts in view of this the view practically does ad, ad, practically admitted the impossibility of defining intelligence precisely precise at uh, defined uh, uh, Gilford the structure of classical theories in a pattern. This view, however, did not gain much acceptance. Therefore, precise at intelligence uh, 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 acceptance These were not based on empirical evidence and psychology, which was fast progressing on the way to become an exact science started looking for more empirical and scientific ways of studying, analyzing and understanding intelligence. These are not based on empirical evidence and psychology. Classical theories like structure of intellect, Guilford and the other classical theories, these were based on empirical evidence and these were not based on uh, um, empirical evidence in psychology, and pure psychology and basic theories. That is why they are not based on empirical this is my class this is the uh, these are the ideas proposed by Guilford for f um, in his structure of intellect model thank you